if you want to get pregnant, you need to listen to this. If you're in your 30s and you're trying to get pregnant, understanding your hormones is what is going to get you pregnant. This is all of the basics of your hormones that I wish you knew for years, but we're going to find out together today. Everyone keeps talking about balance your hormones, have regular cycles. Well, what does that mean? What's going into that? What's letting us have those good regular cycles? What impacts that? Let's learn about it together. The way you're going to get pregnant is by balancing your hormones, and this is what you need to know. Each month, our cycle starts by our follicles starting to grow and develop. Okay, They do this by using this hormone called FSH, or follicle-stimulating hormone. Follicle-stimulating hormone stimulates these follicles to grow and develop. As they grow and develop, they start to secrete estrogen that we see starting to rise here. Estrogen's role in your uterus is to thicken your uterine lining. So we see as this goes on, as estrogen increases, our uterine lining gets thicker and thicker. This is important because if that egg is fertilized when we ovulate this month, your follicle, your zygote, your fertilized egg needs somewhere to implant and it needs to be nutrient dense so it can start to nourish and grow that baby. When this follicle is mature enough, it will ovulate. All right. And so what stimulates ovulation is this spike in LH that we see here. LH stands for luteinizing hormone. And when you are taking ovulation tests, it is testing for the presence of this hormone LH here. When we see that spike in LH, that peak in LH, that means that we will ovulate in the next 24 to 48 hours. We can only get pregnant each month during ovulation, and that ovulated egg is only viable for 24 hours. So we need good, healthy, viable sperm there when that happens to fertilize this egg in those 24 hours. That's how we're going to get pregnant. Once that ovulation happens, we're going to picture that like our egg is hatching. All right. So once our egg has hatched, it is that mature egg there that is going to go from our ovary into our fallopian tube. And that's where it's going to be fertilized by the sperm. What is left over in your ovary is something called the corpus luteum. All right. So we can picture that like the eggshell. That role in your hormones is to start to produce progesterone. Progesterone's role in your uterus is to hold your uterine lining in place. If we are going to get pregnant and that egg is going to implant into our uterus, we need that uterine lining to stay there to keep nourishing this baby, allowing it to grow. So if we are pregnant and we don't get our period, it's because these levels of progesterone stayed high. It's keeping our uterine lining in place. If we do not get pregnant, that corpus luteum starts to die, our progesterone starts to go down, and then we shed our uterine lining, we get our period. We are talking about hormone balance. We now understand where each of these hormones are coming from. So we see that that egg has to mature properly. It has to be of good quality in order for us to produce quality estrogen. But then we need a healthy ovulation in order to produce a healthy corpus luteum to give us enough progesterone to hold that uterine lining in place. So if we look back and date back, say, how are we going to improve our hormone balance, improve our hormones? A lot of it actually comes down to promoting this healthy ovulation so we can have that good balance, the production of both of those hormones in the right levels. If you have irregular cycles, they fluctuate a lot in length. If they are really short, if you have a lot of heavy bleeding, a lot of pain and cramping mood changes, a lot of times that can actually be linked to you not having enough progesterone. Well, how do we get enough progesterone? We have that healthy ovulation. So if we support ovulation, we support healthy progesterone, you have lighter periods, 
you have regular periods, because we see this whole cascade of hormones needs to happen in order for us to have those regular periods each month. These are the basics of understanding your hormones, how we are going to ovulate and therefore achieve pregnancy. Comment your questions below.